I'm here with Chez, and this might look like a GT4 Lusso, but it's actually an FF. I'm here with Corey and his uh, Nissan GTR. I don't know how we're going to do the microphone situation. Hey, well, I'm just... No, you <laughs> I'm not hurting, bro. <laughs> I leveled up on a snake. Bitch, stop playing with me. I gotta cut out the leash. Dog and me, gone bon appetit. Mm. I leveled up on a snake. Bitch, stop playing with me. I gotta cut out the leash. Dog and me, gone bon appetit. I'm here with Chez, and this might look like a GT4 Lusso, but it's actually an FF. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Yep, it's an FF. It's my first Ferrari. Uh, so, been enjoying it for the past six months or so, and yeah, really happy with it. And what's your name? Shayla, can you say Shayla? Not yet. No. She's working on it though. She'll get there eventually. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold the mic because he's uh, kind of holding a baby, uh, which takes a little priority over Mike. So um, now this is your first Ferrari. Um, what fun car did you have before this? So I've had quite a few. So before this, I had a 2014 E63 AMG wagon. Before that, I had a Camaro Z01 1 LE. Before that, I had a C63 2009 C63. And then before that, a 2002 Corvette Z06. So yeah, I have, quite, have had quite a few fun cars, but the last two have definitely been a couple of fun dad cars. And speaking of dad cars, uh, I noticed that you got the car seat in the back. Yeah, of course. Uh, when I bought the car, we had had little Shayla already, so I had to get something that she could ride in. So what better dad car than a Ferrari uh, FF V12? So is, is that one of the main reasons you picked this one? Yeah, yeah. So one of the main reasons was yeah to have something I could take her around in a second family car. We have an SUV at home, but uh, yeah, a second family car that I could definitely get her around in in some style. And uh, speaking of family cars, what is uh, what's your daily driver? This is it actually. I work from home, so daily driver is sort of uh, <laughs> yeah. Sort so, you, so you take this to Trader Joe's or something? At Trader Joe's. I pick up got a couple of Kroger pickups. Got groceries in it. Yeah, so. Take it everywhere. It's fun to drive. So I love, I love driving it. So any chance I get to get out in it, I'll take it out. So uh, that's kind of cool. So um, and, and now you, you told me that your uh, dad passed away recently. Um, is he the one who got you in the cars? Yeah. So he was an auto mechanic. So I was always around in his shop, looking at cars, around cars. At one point he worked in Hollywood. So he had a bunch of Ferraris come in. He had we were, he did a Shaq's Ferrari, he worked on Shaq's Ferrari, Tom Cruise's Ferrari. And I think there's a picture in there of him in a red with a red Ferrari. I think that's actually Tom Cruise's Ferrari that he's standing next to doing work on. So uh, I have a little picture of him. I carry that in the car. I got a red Ferrari, and I think he'd be really happy and proud and excited about it. So a little tribute to my dad in form of an ultimate dream car. So did you move to Dallas from L.A. then? Uh, eventually, so I moved from L.A. to Texas, then to Georgia, then back to California, and then back to Dallas. So kind of been all around the U.S., but yeah. Um, and so the Ferrari is an automatic. Uh, do you have a preference of automatic versus manual? So I love manuals, um, but the last manual I had was probably the two thousand. No, the Camaro Z01 1 LE. I loved having the manual, but oh, yeah. just having her now, being in an automatic, it just kind of I can focus on her when I need to. Okay. Uh, so that's why I got the. That's why I just have an automatic now. So yeah. And if you were to go back to a manual, which uh, which car would it be? Ooh man, that's a tough one. I feel like the automatic answer is probably like a GT3 RS or something. I can't go wrong with that. Well, obviously, she won't, I don't think she'd fit in there for very long. Maybe now, but maybe in a few months, probably not. I think that would probably be a, a, an awesome manual to have for sure. Yeah. And uh, last question for you, Shez. Um, do you have any dogs? Uh, we have one dog, yes. His name is Hadouken. He's uh, 14 years old. We've had him since he was a little puppy. And uh, now we also have a cat added to the mix. So, yeah, we've got a little dog and a little cat at home. So. And do the the pets get along with the kids or? They ignore each other for the most part. So, yeah, they kind of keep their distance. She loves chasing after him now that she can crawl. So she's always going after the dog and the cat, but they scamper away before uh, she can get too close. Uh, that's awesome, man. Um, so, Shez, thank you so much for showing us your Ferrari. Uh, I'm very sorry for your loss. Um, but this is this is an amazing story. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Jonathan. Appreciate it. I leveled up on a snake. Yeah. Bitch, stop playing with me. I gotta cut out the leash. Dog and me gone bon appetit. Bon appetit. I leveled up on a snake. Yeah. Bitch, stop playing with me. I gotta cut out the leash. Dog and me gone bon appetit.
I don't know who you thought I was. I'm here with Corey and his uh, Nissan GTR. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about the car, please? So I've had the car for about three years. Um, so far, it's basically stock besides a full exhaust system, AEM competition exhaust. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it for now. Besides, I mean, I have a uh, the T Rex uh, twelve inch screen. Okay. And carbon fiber trunk. So far, that's it for right now. Nice. A lot more mods to come. Oh yeah, like what? What all do you have planned out for the future? Um, if you had your way with it, what would go you do? E eighty five. Okay. Get fuel injectors. Um, I want to go ahead and get intake. That's pretty much it for now. Okay. <laughs> it is windy yeah it, it's a little windy out here uh, let's let's try that again so um so you're walking me through all the mods that you want to do in the future yeah um i do want to get fuel injection running on e85 i want to get intake and okay maybe a better intake manifold okay that's pretty much it yeah that's cool so um now the nissan gtrs have you ever used the launch control on I it? have not. Okay. Um, transmission on them. Exactly. Especially around 2009, 2010. I just don't want anything to happen to transmission. That's another 23 grand. Ooh, <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah, especially with the clutch on this car doing a launch. You don't know if the previous owner has done a launch, Correct. but how does the clutch feel? Oh, I mean, it's, it's perfect. I mean, okay. Right now, everything runs great. Okay. Transmission so far. Everything's good so okay. far. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Tell me about the other cars that you've had. All right. I mean, it's a little, it's a little bit of a list. Okay. Um, my very first car was a 280Z. Nice. Um, went ahead and got rid of that and had a little Miata. Okay. Put a little bit of work into it, about 20 grand worth of mods to Whoa, it. That's pretty, pretty, yeah. pretty fun car. Got ran over by an 18-wheeler in it. Oh. The only Dude. thing that saved my life was the uh, roll bar I installed in wow. it. Wow. So if you have Miata, go ahead and get a roll bar. Wow. <laughs> um, I've had a 2008 M3. Okay. I um, also had a 2005 STI. Nice. A 750 horsepower Corvette Z06. <laughs> that was fun. I, yeah. And I ended up trading that Z06 in for the for GTR. Okay. Awesome. So uh, out of all your previous cars, Forget about the GTR. If you could buy one of those back, which one would it be? The Corvette. Okay, nice. Miss the sound of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, sounds kind of like that. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. So we are at a uh, event called Rides and Paws. So, you know, I, I want to ask you, do you have any dogs? I have four boxers. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, I had the mom and dad. They had five puppies. And five? Oh, shit. We kept okay. two of them, and they're three years old now. Yeah. A handful. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. And do you have any kids, too? I have a 17-year-old daughter. Okay, cool. So it's a real full house there. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Well, uh, Corey, thank you so much for your time um, showing us this car. It's, it's a really cool build. I, I want to see it again in the future, maybe when you, once you're done with it. Oh, yeah. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Hey, okay. Yeah. I leveled up on a sneak. Stop guy with me, I gotta cut out the leash, dog and me gon' bon appetit. Mm-hmm. I love a double the schnees. Bitch, stop playing with me. I gotta cut out the leash, dog and me gon' bon appetit. Mm-hmm. We're here with Justin and his 2020 Infinity Q50. Sir. Uh so Justin, how long you had this car? So I got it almost a year ago. Okay. But not quite a year yet. Um I got it used. And I I love it, man. Yeah. I tried to be quiet. I know, right? <laughs> Just keep the bloopers in there. It's fun. No, it'll be fun. No, uh, I got it used for like 31K miles. Okay. So it was like 29K. And this is your daily driver? Hell yeah. Okay. I, I beat the crap out of this car every day, but I love it, man. So you These uh, cars are reliable. As long as you get your oil changed, yeah. you're good. And you, so you mentioned you're going to college? Yes, Are sir. you in high school right now? I'm in college right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Am I too far away from the mic? No. You're good. Okay. Yeah. So uh what are you studying in college? Uh, cybersecurity. Cybersecurity. Whoa, that's kinda cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you always been interested in that? No. Oh, really? It says my dad does like insurance and stuff. Okay. So it was either that or You probably picked a good one for the future. I'll I'll tell you yeah, that yeah. one. So So what uh what mods do you plan to do so, with the car? Like in the in the future? Yeah. 
probably bigger turbos, maybe a tune. Okay. I'm trying to leave it stock right now because I don't want to. The thing with these is once you start modding them, every shit goes out the window. Yeah. Like, you know. Yeah, yeah. They're reliable, but you know, you can only mod something so much. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, and um, so kind of money, no object. What car would you uh, after want to buy? this? Yeah, well, probably a Lexus IS 350. That's what I originally wanted. To okay, buy. nice. I can't yeah, afford it. That's a cool car. Hell yeah, brother. They're, they're, that's probably my next option if I keep this car or not. Okay. Because I honestly doubt I'll have this for seven years. Yeah. Probably like six years at most, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I just trade it in yeah. and get a Lexus IS 350 because. And uh, you're here with your friends? Yeah, it's my buddy. He's my. Uh, he's also. <laughs> okay. Then pass the mic. <laughs> yeah, you want you want to pass over the mic? <laughs> what? <laughs> pass the torch, buddy. <laughs> okay. And so, what's your name? Jonah. Jonah, and uh, which car do you drive? I drive a 2017 Chevy Malibu. Awesome. And uh, any mods to that one? Not right now. <laughs> uh, in a few. Headlight tint. I, no, I have tail tint. I have tail tint, and I wrap the emblems myself. Okay. And yeah. then, then um, I'm getting a resonator and muffler delete in a few weeks. Nice. And uh, what about you, sir? What's what's your That's name? Got that <laughs> I'm Caden. Okay. I drive this 07 shitbox Tahoe over there <laughs> the that does not belong here at all. <laughs> um. So uh, <laughs> so I noticed some stuff in the back of your car. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> run, Forrest, run! Well, what would you like to know? I, I will tell you one by one. Um, <laughs> I guess who are you gonna vote for this coming election? Um. I'll plead the fifth on that, sir. Right, right, right now I will plead the fifth on that question. But I think it might be a little obvious. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little obvious. Um, he's no. obviously voting for Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah, for yes, for sure, for sure. Um, no, but that, that flag back there, I'm a tow operator for uh, Dallas Fort Worth. Nice. So, um, you know, Yellow Line supports us, so that's why I'm flying it. Of course, I'm not really flying on the road because it's so damn windy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Um, but yeah, uh, it's it doesn't belong here. But I'm here. <laughs> I'm here with the club. So I'll, I'll tell you what: every car belongs at a car meet. It doesn't matter what you have. Except it's just... Tesla. I'm sorry, that's pushing it. Hey, there, hey, te there. Teslas can be here. Don't Tesla. Guy. <laughs> I'm, I, I've seen some modded out Teslas that actually look clean. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be honest, they do. I just I can't stand the fact that when you rev it, it makes no sound. They still look like you. They still sound like UFOs. Yeah, some of them look like chili beans. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, this has been fun. Uh, so nice meeting you. Heck yeah. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. I love it up on the sneaks. Bitch, stop playing with me. I gotta cut out the leash. Dog and me, go bon appetit. Mm -hmm. We couldn't leave Rides and Paws without talking to uh, the director of the animal shelter. What's yes. your name, sir? My name is Mark Cooper. Awesome. And, and yeah, I'm the director of animal services here for the colony. Cool. And uh, what's this little one's name? This is Filippo. 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 Something like that. He's a little bit of a wiggle worm. He is a little <laughs> bit of a wiggle worm. And what Super is his cute. story? So he came to us. He, had a, uh, he was badly injured okay. near, de near death. Uh, he ended up having a fractured skull. Ooh. We're not for sure how it happened. Okay. But um, he did have to have surgery. And he's had some drain tubes and so forth uh, in, his, in his head. So he is recovering well, as you can tell. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's one of many, many that we, we treat uh, here at the shelter. So. Oh, that's amazing. You um, whining? You got something to say? <laughs> he wants to eat the bike. <laughs> So how many dogs do you estimate that you have in the shelter right now? Right now we have about 22 okay. dogs at the shelter. Uh, that's pretty full for us because we're a pretty small shelter. Okay. Uh, we max out at 20. So gotcha. that kind of tells you about how full we are. Yeah. Uh, and we have waiting lists of people just waiting to surrender their animals. Oh, no. So, okay. Uh, that's what we do. We, we are no kill. That's we good. do not euthanize. Uh, so that's what we do is we have more people that need to surrender their animals. So... We put them on waiting list, and as soon as one gets adopted, we'll call the next one on the list, and okay, so forth. So, and how long have you been uh, working here? I have been the director of animal services here at the colony for approximately going on nine years. Wow, I've been doing this work for twenty-two years. Wow, so okay. yeah, I started with the city of Dallas animal services. Yeah, and so now um, I tend to I, I tend to find that people 
involved in the rescue of dogs have a lot of dogs of their own? Most do. Most Are you do. talking double digits? I, I'm not. Believe it or not, I have okay. one. I have one, one dog. You kidding? I, yes, I okay. have. And he's at work. He comes to work with me every day. Awesome. Uh, he's a 90 pound pit bull. Um, <laughs> Love pit I just have the one, but he plays with all the dogs here every day. So he's good being an, an only dog. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I just have one. I love dogs, but I just have the one. But I'm with dogs all day long. So, yeah. um, hey, we, <laughs> I'm going to pass got, this buddy make a break for it. Sorry. Yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and so you have a, um, you have an event coming up in June. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about it? That is our, it's at the, the ballpark in Frisco. Okay. Uh, and basically we're going to have a, be, be posting about a, about the event uh, on our social media, but uh, we'll have a scan code, okay, uh, like a barcode, and people can scan that. And basically, we get a big percentage of the uh, five dollars actually per ticket for the everybody that attends that. Awesome, and that's event. with the Frisco so, Rough Riders. For, Frisco Rough Riders. Awesome. Uh, and um, when is that date? Friday, Friday June twenty eighth. Yes, sorry, I couldn't remember <laughs> that date. No worries. Have you ever been out to their stadium? I have. It's it's very nice. Have you been very in the nice. Lazy River? I have it? not. Okay. But it, we need to try that. Yeah. So Maybe take a dog or something. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, will they allow dogs? I, I Actually, I don't know. Yeah. That's a good question. Well, you, you know what? Just find out. Just yeah. take a dog in there. We might we might do that. <laughs> It'll be June. It'll be hot. Um, Come out to Frisco Rough Riders. They got a Lazy River and it'll help the, the city of Colony out. Um. Yeah. And I'd love to put you know your donation information up yes, on the screen. Yes, it's on our social okay. media. And one of the one very important part uh, I, I do like to talk about when it comes to our donations mm -hmm. is I like people to understand that w we are a city shelter. So obviously the city covers all the cost of taking care of the animals. So okay. you know food and just anything they need. What they don't cover is the medical Understood. cost. So that's what every penny that we get in donation goes into our medical fund. So yeah. every single penny goes to help dogs like the little puppy I just had. Yeah. Um, and w there's so many more. We had a, a little dog this week that we spent $2,200 on that had Parvo. And it, you know, yeah. I mean, it's constantly something yeah. uh, because we take in animals, but we don't euthanize them. We treat them. So that is what all the money goes to. So it's not going towards, you know, buying other things for the shelter because okay. that's what the city covers. So that's excellent. It's all for medical. And uh, we are a car YouTube channel, so I do want to ask you about the the car we have. Uh, this here. is our this is our uh, prize gym here. Okay. Um, yeah, he's mean on the road. Okay. Yeah, this this sucker will hit zero to thirty in like you know sixty seconds. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, this this is what our fleet look like. So kind of sexy, I guess. Yeah. No, I you know what? It's uh it's a good looking truck. Yeah. And, yeah. In, here in Texas, we do like our we trucks. Do. The big thing here is you got you do have to know is that the the kennels have AC and whoa yes. Yeah, so even AC, in the Texas summer, very important. They are very cool, and during the winter, they are they're they're warm. So yeah, we want to make sure that they're taken care of. They're only in there for literally from the time they're picked up to the time they're you know until the officer here. can get back to the shelter. So they're only in there a matter of minutes, and not nine times out of ten, if they're a friendly dog. The officer puts know. them in the in the front <laughs> seat of the truck anyway. So, well, Mark, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Um, I appreciate y'all for I, out. Personally, we are going to donate some money, and I, I hope you guys do too. We'll put the information up on screen. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it for now. Okay. Mm-hmm.